When you placed your MBN order with Telstra, you chose to self-install your new gateway modem. And this video will show you how to do it. There's just a couple of things to consider before you begin. Firstly, please wait until your NBN connection box is active before installing your gateway modem. To check for activity, release the cover of the box by pressing the two clips and then lifting the cover at an angle to remove. An active connection box is indicated by the following green lights. Secondly, if you already have a traditional phone service and are moving your phone to the NBN network, then you need to be aware that if you have any of these devices connected to your phone service, including medical alarms or back-to-base security alarms, they will no longer work after you've completed your self-installation. Also be aware your telephone wall sockets will not work on the NBN network. Instead, the phone service will be provided via your new Telstra Gateway modem. I'll explain that setup later in the video. If you have any concerns around your phone service and the NBN, please contact Telstra on 1800 834 273 to discuss other installation options. Now let's take a closer look at your Telstra connection kit and get started. You will have received one of these connection kits. Both include the gateway modem, the gateway base, a quick start guide, a power adapter, a Wi-Fi security fridge magnet, and all the cables needed for connection. Before you start, choose a location for your gateway near your NBN connection box. Ensure the box is indicating an active connection by checking the lights. Step one, connect the gateway. Remove the base of the gateway. Pick up the cable with the red and yellow plugs on the ends. Insert the red end into the red WAN port on the gateway. Insert the opposite yellow end into the UNI-D port on the NBN connection box. An email or SMS will have already been sent to you identifying which UNI-D port to use. Step two, power the gateway. Insert the power cable into the gateway and plug the adapter into the wall. Make sure the power point is switched on. The power light should be on and solid green. If not, turn the gateway on by pressing the power button. Wait for the online light on your gateway to turn solid green. It can take up to 10 minutes for the gateway to register with the Telstra network, so please be a little patient. Step three, connect your devices. Locate the Wi-Fi security fridge magnet included in the box. Your Wi-Fi name and password are also printed on a removable sticker on the side of the gateway. On your Wi-Fi enabled devices, search for Wi-Fi networks to find your gateway. Select the name printed on your Wi-Fi card from the search. When asked, enter in the password, which is also on your card. If you want to maximize your internet speed, use an ethernet cable. Connect from any of the yellow ports on the bottom of the gateway to your device's network port. Now, let's get your phone connected. Plug your existing home phone into the green phone port. When the phone light on the gateway turns green, you will be able to make and receive calls. It can take up to 10 minutes for the phone to register, so please be a little patient. Test that your phone works by listening for a dial tone. Remember, your gateway must be on to make and receive calls. Some NBN installations may include a battery backup if available and selected by the customer. If you are new to Telstra on the NBN, then your installation is now complete. If you are an existing Telstra customer, then please remove any old modems that were connected on your old service. Installation is now complete, and this is what your Telstra NBN Gateway setup should look like. For information on recycling your old equipment, visit the website on your screen. And for more information, visit telstra.com forward slash welcome, where you can find additional help and support, or call us on 1800 834 273 for questions and technical support.